Hello, I'm going to try and do a video right now with my dog snoring in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. That's the dog snoring, if you can hear that. So I'll try and talk over that noise, um, but he'll probably just get louder and louder. I've got a nice, simple card for you. If you're new to paper craft and you're thinking, oh, some of these designs, they're really intricate, they're really complicated. I need lots of equipment and that's going to cost lots of money. Let me show you something that is that takes very little equipment and I'll show you just how easy it is that you can create a nice, simple, yet pretty card. Um, I made this earlier and I've made this using some products that um, aren't available yet, but they will soon. They'll be available on the 3rd of January. But I thought I'd give you a little look at them first. This comes from the All My Love suite. So we've got these lovely pretty colours here, uh, pretty papers rather, in lots of lovely colours. We've got lovely lipstick, crumb cake, um, and this is soft sea foam, this green colour. It's absolutely beautiful. This is probably my favourite. I just think that's really lovely with the green and the very deep pink as well. That pink is so deep, it's almost red. It's lovely. Um, and that's one with the, um, with the brown background, which is equally nice and we've got some hearts so obviously this is gearing up for valentine's day uh, more hearts more lovely deep rich pink colors and what stamping up do extremely well uh, when they're bringing these sweets out is also bringing you coordinating cardstock so we've got this cardstock here so you've got that crumb cake color we've got um, pink i think that's flirty flamingo um, and lovely lipstick and then you've got the stamp that oh, sorry the stamp set that goes with it which is forever lovely and that's where I got that sentiment from so I just thought I'd um, show you that just to give you a little peek at those but I'm going to make um, a similar card but using current uh, current items that are in the annual catalogue I'm just trying to get them off my table there we go so I haven't got one pre-made, I'm just going to go into it and you will see what we end up with at the end. So I've got a blank card, this is 4 by 6 and then I've got some, this is Knight of Navy, I love this navy, it's so, it's such a really deep vibrant colour, um, so that's Knight of Navy and then I'm going to stick a piece of Whisper White on top of that like that and then i've taken some um, dsp from the twinkle twinkle um, designer series paper so this is going to be a card i don't make many cards that are suitable for um suitable for men or for boys um but i thought i'd make a change and and do something like that so i've got that which is just like a night sky it's got a lovely effect with that and then on the back we've got this nice soft gray color with the white stars so just for measurements, I should have told you the measurements. Um, we have, so the Knight of Navy, the blue, that is four inches by five and three quarters. The Whisper White card is three and a half inches by five and a quarter inches. I've also got out of that DSP, four small pieces. So because it's double sided, I've got cut four pieces the same. Oh dear, I'm being a bit dim there. There we go, four pieces the same, like that. And that's how I'm going to stick that onto there. And they each measure, let me get this right, one and a half inches by two and three eighths of an inch. So out of, if you wanted to make a big stack of cards, out of one of those, you're going to get absolutely loads of them. So I'm going to stick them like that, just using um, Tombow, using wet glue. So I'm going to stick those on there like that and I'll come back to you in a second. So there we go, we've got those on there and you don't have to use those measure measurements, you can use any measurements you like, you can form any borders that you like, you might want to have two squares, uh, you could have a square here and a longer rectangle and then that square there and a longer rectangle, however you want, it's entirely up to you, start to get creative 
one sheet of DSP and some cardstock and you're going to be able to make lots and lots of variations on cards. Now I want to put the circle in the middle so I've got some Knight of Navy card and I've got a two inch circle punch and I'm going to put that in the middle like that and then I'm also going to I've got some Whisper White here, and this is where I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Now I'm using the Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set, which I've got here. I use this ever such a lot because I like this Happy Birthday sentiment. I like the party time on there as well, and it's got some nice um, flowers and things, so I quite like that. I've also got the balloons as well, which I, I use with the coordinating balloon punch. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Happy Birthday sentiment but when I used that when I was first having a go at this, it was too small for the circle. So I'm going to use that one as well. So I've put them both onto a block and I'm going to stamp those in Knight of Navy ink so everything coordinates. I could have used the grey if I wanted to. I don't actually think I've got the grey. So I'm just going to load that up with ink. Hopefully this is going to stamp first time without any splodges. There we go, first time. That never happens. Usually there's a splodge of some sort and I have to do it again. So glad that worked out. That is a first. And then I'm going to get my one and three quarter inch punch. My favorite thing that stamping up do are punches. They are They've, they've just got it so right with them. There's so many different types of punches. I, I absolutely love them. Um, so I'm just putting the cards into the punch there, lining it up. Just going to grip that there and then push it out. As you can see, I've been stamping on the other side of the paper. So I've got that there. So I'm going to take my, take both of those circles and then I need some dimensionals. So I've got these little mini dimensionals, little cushioned hexagonal pads that just lift parts of your project and then just gives it some, um, gives some dimension to your project. I don't know why I've ended up with two circles. I must have punched another one out somewhere. So I'm going to just stick the circle onto there. like that and then I'm going to stick that one there. Absolutely nice and simple and super easy. So far I've spent eight minutes making that. Uh, well the video is eight minutes long. I talked a bit at the beginning so probably once you've cut out all the paper you're probably looking at about ten minutes for the card. It's already had the paper cut out but that doesn't take long to do. So I'm just going to stick that in there like, like that. So I've got that central on the card. So there's my card front and then I'm just going to stick that there. So I'm going to grab some glue. Just using Tombow here. It's a good quality wet glue. Quick smudge on there like that. my card place that on there central and then while the glue is still wet and before it grabs oh goodness me I got that on first time um, so before it grabs just move it about maneuver it if you want get it in the right position and there we are super easy card so if you're looking to get into crafting if you want a new hobby for the new year this is great for de-stressing I absolutely love crafting when I come home from work I don't care how tired I am have to do a bit of crafting it just makes me feel so much more relaxed so if you're looking to get into it just look how easy and simply you can make a project with just a few supplies and with some card stocks and dsp a stamp set and a couple of punches you could make absolutely loads of these cards and how nice it is to give a card to someone um, that you've made yourself the um twinkle twinkle dsp isn't just grays and blues they've got lots of other 
um, pretty colours in there. If you have a look at the description bar below, there is a link to my shop and you can browse your heart's content and have a look at some of the DSPs that we have. So just go down to the section that says paper. Um, got some more projects coming along because we have the new spring summer catalogue launching very, very soon. So if you want to see more projects using new products, then please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell because the bell will give you a notification every time I post a project. Thank you ever so much for joining me and I'll see you again with another project really soon. Thanks. Bye bye.